welcome back to Science in the Shed. Um, we've got a special guest with us tonight. Say hello, Martel. Um, it's been a while since we've actually done an episode. We've had one taken down. Uh, we've got to be careful what we say and do from now on. So um, we've just got to be careful, right, Elroy? Right. There is landscape, mate. Right. Um, if you're true fans of science in the shed, you'll know we put a little sausage um, to decay um, just to see how it goes. It's fucking gone, Elroy. Look, that's decayed into fucking nothing since the last episode. Look at that, get a zoom in on that. Look at that, just a ball of moss. Can you see that? Okay, we're going to put this on here. But I think this is done now, so we can leave that. Right, what we've got for you today people we're going to do our little own volcano kit right here in the shed in front of your eyes for you people take a hold of that mart there we go um, and then we're going to go through um, basically which mouse trap works best um, we're going to trial them on ourselves um, we've got the bog standard mouse traps here don't look like they'll do much then we're going to move on up to these ultra power mouse traps like the professionals use. Right, Mart? <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to move on to this bad boy. Hold that one up for a Mart. And then we're going to see which one causes the most damage. All in the name of science, obviously. Right, Elroy? And um, yeah, that's about it. Pop the lighter just in there, or I give it a try run. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck you though. Add an explosion into that, Ray. <laughs> Warning, this toy is not suitable for children under the age of six unless supervised by an adult. So lucky I'm here to supervise Elroy. Right, I'm here to make a big one. Right, um, first we're going to start off with our homemade volcano. Um, never heard of that chemical. Heard of that, Martin? What's that one? Fuck knows. But we're going to chuck it all in and see what sort of volcano is going to erupt in front of our eyes, people. So stay tuned. I don't think these are going to fit on my head somehow. <laughs> Safety first. Science just before. <laughs> Well, they do fit and all, yeah. <laughs> right, Elroy, take over the camera as you do. You got it? Are you landscape? Get your finger out of the way. We're, uh, we're gonna double up. The right, thing. because we don't do things by the book in Science in the Shed, as you may know by now, we're actually gonna double up on the scoops to create that extra bit of volcano. All right, make sure they can all see Elroy. Right, same amount as that one. Make sure it's all dry, that's dry. Right, I'm just gonna get a little syringe full of water. I don't ever use syringes, so this is. Right, and if. If this goes to plan, it should make a volcano eruption in front of your eyes, right here in the shed. Are you ready, boys? <laughs> We're ready, mate. Oh! Whoa, look at that, Elroy! Right then! Elroy, get a zoom in, Elroy! Can they see it? Look at that. Science view people right here, Christmas special, volcanoes going off in the shed. God. <laughs> Look at that, that is beautiful. That is just beautiful. Science people, it can't get better than this. Pause it right there, Elroy. Elroy, go and get a cut. We're gonna do it on a bigger scale for you lads. Right, what we're gonna do now, obviously, science in the shed. That was good and all, but obviously we like to do things on a much bigger scale here. Right, Mark? Right. So what we're going to do is pour all of it in and see how big the eruption is and um, see how it goes. You got that water there, Roy? Yes. Here we Ready? go. Well, our special guest, Mark, is going to do this next one. We're going to want all of it in. 
All of it in. That's it. All of the white stuff. Give it a give it a swirl. Give it a swirl. All in, Mo. Whoa! Wasn't as good as we thought, but nevertheless, it's an eruption. Right, boys? Hooray! Right. <laughs> oh, look at the fizz. Look at the fizz on that, Elroy. Look at the fizz on that. Is it going to stop? Nobody knows. It just carries on fizzing. That's the magic of science, people. You just don't know what's going to come next in the shed. Right. Right. Oh, it's still fizzing. <laughs> still fizzing. Right, set it up, Elroy. It's pretty easy to set up that one. There we go. Right. Um, Elroy's going to take over the camera. We're going to see which mouse trap works best. This is your bog standard one, and this is your one with teeth. It's supposed to be professional use. It's supposed to kill any mouse in sight. Right, Marto? Right. <laughs> Go. Camera taking over. Not expecting much from this first one, bog standard one. Painless that one. My hands are quite cold as well, so that does add to the fucking pain, I tell you. Right, now for the one with teeth. Can they all see Elroy? Get your fingers oh, up. Oh, mate, we got to do that again. We rolling, Elroy. We rolling. Do I need to take over? Does Mark need to take over the camera? No. Right, okay, don't put your hand over the microphone, keep it there and zoom in when I tell you to zoom in. Right, first one, the bog standard mouse trap. We're not expecting much from this, but my hands are quite cold, so we'll see what it does. Shocking that, terrible. That's not gonna kill a mouse. Right, this next one does look fucking lethal. Get a zoom in there, right? Get a zoom in on the lethal one. Can they see? Let's see how Roy. Right, here we go. Absolutely shocking again. So we've got one last little thing. If these two mouse traps don't kill your rodents, we've got one last little thing that will wipe them out. Pause it right there, Roy. <laughs> right, this last one is called the bug zapper from hell. Battery's loaded, Marto. Yeah, right. Right. If it, this is going to kill your rodent, for sure. Right, oh, Roy? Go! You want to do, give it a nice whack? No, a bit harder. Ah! <laughs> no, do it! You've got to do it hard, mate. The battery's in, mate. Yeah. You can hear it. Get your hands wet. Make your arm wet. I'm fucking making it. Get your arm wet. Yeah. Take your hand, man. Take your back Spit on him, Mal. Dip it in my fucking elbow. No. <laughs> 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 oh, mate. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> I put it down there, Roy. That's enough. That's enough, there, Roy. <laughs> oh, ah! Fucking get my heart with it. <laughs> right, we're gonna wrap up that episode there of Science in the Shed. Elroy's gone a bit loose with the fucking... It's going down. Oh, right. <sighs> right, that's it for the Christmas special of Science in the Shed. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't know if we'll be back or not. Um, obviously, it's hard to pump them out, obviously. But obviously, keep the comments coming, keep the likes coming. Comment for the algorithm and subscribe. Say bye, boys. Hey! Hey Roy, say goodbye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
nice try, but not nice enough. <laughs>